this is what it's all about. The vast crowd at the MCG erupting in appreciation. Yes, this is a very special rivalry between Australia and New Zealand. Simon Poitevin played against the All Blacks on 23 occasions. David Campisi was up near 30. Australia's two most capped players against New Zealand. Simon, why is it so special? Well, it's basically because you're pitting yourself against the best in the world. And New Zealand, no doubt about that, over the years, over the, over the decades, over the centuries, they are number one. And they are the side to beat for many years with a poor cousin. Through the 80s, we started against some ascendancy out there and won, won some uh, historic battles against them. It's been a long drought since 1994. Let's hope we can turn it around tonight. And the All Blacks arrive. They've caught the crowd by surprise. But a tremendous hand now. As Jeff Wilson is last man out. And Wilson, one of the outstanding three quarters in the international game. Five changes to this Kiwi side that downed England a fortnight ago. Four in the back line. Bindiri displaces Lomu, while McLeod, Little and Marshall return after injury. In the pack, Michael Jones is back from concussion. Ian Jones and Robin Brook, they lock together for a test world record 43rd time. Jones also stepping out for his 73rd test match. That's Ian. Here come the Wallabies. And what a great response from this vast crowd here at the MCG. It's over 70,000 and George Gregan the hero in 94 when he pulled off that marvelous last second tackle against Jeff Wilson the Wallabies fielding the same starting lineup for the fourth test in a row the Aussie back line has scored 17 of the 20 tries this season in the pack it's an all Queensland back row of Kefu Wilson and Cobain and an all New South Wales front row of Blades Kearns and Harry and Phil Kearns his first Bledisloe Cup in three years and a man to watch early on will be Robin Brook. If he's on fire, the Wallabies have to look out. Mertens goes deep to Gregan. The Wallabies go wide. Running the ball from inside their quarter. Come back, come back. Now Gregan. Desperately needs support here. Plenty of time. And that's a soaring punt kick to within nine metres of the halfway line by Matthew Burke. Well, that's a good confident start from the Wallabies. George Gregan, sound take. Move the balls for a few sets of hands out there. Settle the nerves down. And then a nice touch finder from Matthew Burke. Interesting to see Joely Vendiri in the line out of two. Tron fell out. Very, very interesting position for the winger. Tronfeld standing at fly half. Here comes Little. Charging onto the ball. He's over the advantage line. So good build up here by New Zealand. Scott McLeod couldn't hold on. He's pummeled. He knocked it on. McLeod lacking match forward. practice. Just a little hesitant there. <laughs> Made his debut against the Lions in 1993 and an early psychological strike for the Aussie scrum. Big gap. So Australia into New Zealand territory, 37 metres out. Bill Kearns hasn't thrown in for a line out against New Zealand. 
since the Sydney Football Stadium in 1995. Cobain pushed out. And there's the penalty. It will be awarded 15 metres in. And Matthew Burke is coming up for a shot at goal. Well, we noted this line out. There was a double jump there from the Wallabies. Somewhat fooled the All Blacks. No score here at the MCG. So this a handy position for Matthew Burke. If successful, he will bring up 300 test points. Fifteen metres in. Thirty-seven metres out. Just a, a hint of a breeze here, but only very light. Can Burke strike early for the Wallabies? It looks good. Hits the post. Anton Oliver. Well taken by Jones. Here's Little. Charging at the advantage line. Getting in behind the Australians that time. Wallaby slow it up. Vindiri. Wilson was underneath. Or oh, that was Kefu. Kick ahead by Mertens. He's Ben Tune. Spots a gap. Brilliant pass by Ben Tune. Wilson is there. 38 metres out. Great opportunity for the Wallabies. Burke. Taken away, though, by Michael Jones. Clever play from him. Wallabies pass, not finding a support player. New Zealand back in possession. They kick a lot of ball back to the Wallabies. His tune again. So explosive. Joe Robb. Wrestles out of a couple of tackles. Sets up well. Centre field. Gregan now. And Larkham. Putting it down in New Zealand's territory. Ten metres out, not looking good for Harry. Quite a concerning knee injury for Richard Harry. He has been replaced. So the Wallaby's not able to spoil. 18 metres out. And a penalty against Australia from a line-out infringement, pulling the man down. Mertens doesn't gain much ground. We're about 15 metres from the halfway. The fly halves to date, Larkin has had six possessions and he's kicked four and passed two. New Zealand get their line-out ball through Jones. Beautiful pass from Marshall. Here he goes, Cullen. Joe Rock couldn't get him. Vindiri's inside. Gregan's here, what's the bounce? Was it a knock-on? Wilson. The referee said it was lost forward by New Zealand. Blinding pace out wide from Christian Cullen. Well, you heard it from the referee's mouth. Not forward in the rush to regather. What a beautiful move out flanking the Wallabies. Cullen outside Ross. The ball in front of them and this pressure piles up on the green and gold. Wallaby scrum, rock solid. Now Matthew Burke. He gets a good purchase on that one and takes play outside the 22. Well, Mertens has had 11 possessions. He's kicked six times. That was your own player. That was your own player. That's Ian Jones again. Now Marshall. The All Blacks grouped in midfield. Nice decoy. McLeod straight through. The pass looked suspicious. Here's Little and Kronfeld. Five metres out. Australia hold on here. Referee's playing advantage. McLeod got through. There's the inside pass to Kronfeld. And the referee's going to pull it back for the infringement by Australia. Andrew Mertens. 387 test points. 92 of those against Australia. First points in the test match to the All Blacks. New Zealand three. 
Australia nil. Australia go deep. Taken away by Jones. Excellent play from him. 37 metres out. They go wide again. They're going to try and stretch Australia. They do. Mertens. It opens up now for Wilson. Wilson, look at him go. He's Joe Roth. Again, sensational attack from the All Blacks as they spread it wide and found Australia wanting. New Zealand win the line-out ball, they drive ahead. So close here, there's Anton Oliver. Josh Confeld, they're over. It's a try. They've splintered the Australian forward pack. Mighty forward effort there by the All Blacks. Well, that was a well-constructed try by New Zealand. Excellent line-out control. Watch him go up. Jones provided the decoy, goes to Robin Brook. Anton Oliver gets in there, raises a, um, a, a good opportunity here for Cronfeld. Cronfeld just legs pumping, gets through, and Clayton Thomas gets around to see the try. Wonderful depth from the All Black forwards as uh, Robin Brook brings it down. Look at the depth, and then great thinking from the young Oliver as it looked like going into touch. He turned it back inside, opening a passageway for Josh Cronfeld. Well, a huge psychological blow there for the All Blacks. As Mertens attempts his conversion, it's close. But out to the right-hand side. The conversion attempt was unsuccessful. New Zealand eight, Australia So New Zealand nil. away to a handsome early lead by eight to nil. The well, Wallabies need to stay composed. They have played pretty well so far this game. Really haven't converted their opportunities. New Zealand have. Aussie forwards up underneath and taken away by Australia. Pull back, pull back, pull back. That was John Eels that time. Pass wasn't good to Larkham. Back into Herbert. The static ball for the Wallaby backs. Here's Gregan. Again working with Larkham. Horan into a wall of black jerseys. Cronfeld sweating on the offside line. Kefu manages to wrench his body to ground. Australia weighed in now through Gregan. Stay there, stay there, stay there. David Wilson goes in. Going back, going back. Larkham. Well, that one's easily coming down near the 22. Joeli Vendiri got it back to Little. Good skills from Horan. He's going to have a sprint here. He ran hard. Centre field, 35 metres out from the all-black goal line. Playing the ball off their feet, they've been penalised another 10 metres. That helps the cause for Matthew Burke. That's a very handy 10 metres. So Matthew Burke hit the post with his first kick. This will close the gap to five. No mistake... And Australia finally on the scoreboard. That's a reward for their early pressure in the opening quarter. Apart from the counter-attack, the Wallabies so far really haven't had the confidence to move the ball wide to their very good back three, Burke, Broth and Tune. Doing a lot of pounding in close. So Andrew Mertens, the outstanding player in Super 12. Burke comes in and owns it. Here's Kefu. Wallaby set it up on the 22. Here's Larkham. Hasn't got the touch. Randall. They want to go out to the centre of the field. This is Cullen. Wasn't a good pass. Mertens cleans up well. Matthew Burke. Doesn't want it to go out on the full. This is Mertens inside his quarter, looking to link up with Randall. Again, first bounce job. Here's Joe Ellie. 
He steps. Upended by June. And that is how to tackle your opponent. The crowd love that. Great jump by Eels. Crowley's there and Kearns again. Wallaby set up. Inside New Zealand's half. Here's Larkham. Again, static ball. Burke attacks. Rock. Good support. Great work from June, who came across. Wallaby's looking dangerous here. Here's Roth again. Getting involved. Australia drive over. 15 metres out. Larkham now. He hesitated. Australia still protect the ball. Again, it's slowed down. It's Kearns in close. Well read by Craig Dow. Daniel Herbert, a battering ram. Now they're making metres. Here's a chance. Matthew Burke. Straight through the middle. The Wallabies draw them all. Well, Kim, if you keep on pounding away at the brick wall, eventually something's going to give. And this time, through consistent ball handling from the Wallabies, we see Matthew Burke get through here. Tommy Bowman provided a bit of guidance there. Olo Brown unable to get to him. Well, England showed that the All Blacks were vulnerable in behind that ruck. Australia had the patience and finally got the most unlikely person through the gap, Matthew Berg. Well, he said he was going to get involved tonight. He's certainly done that in attack and defence. He scored all of Australia's eight points and he's now up to 307 in Test Rugby. Second only to Michael Liner. This one to put Australia in the lead. He's happy, so is the crowd. They are so focused here, 10-8 Australia. And the restart. That kick's gone a bit too deep. Here's Larkham. Plenty of time there, it wasn't a great kick. Larkham's came off the side of his boot, but it still gains 30 metres. Eels comfortably. Crowley's there, and a lack of cohesion. Well, they're trying also, I think, to commit the all-black back rowers off the back of the line-out. They get out very quickly to midfield. Here's Joelli. Almost picked up. The Australians have got it, and then lost again through a knock-on. So New Zealand now. Can they hit back? This is McLeod. Lovely loop to Little. Cullen, nowhere to go. Horan got him, so did Roth. Kronfeld is there. Josh Kronfeld wrestled the ground. And the strength there of Big Joe Roth, assisted by John Eels. Australia scrum. Again, looking very solid. Kefu charges ahead. Gregan now. There's the battering ram. Joe Roth. Gregan does well. Kearns! Up to the 22. Marshall tries to stop it. He's Larkham. Herbert. Straight through. Daniel Herbert. It's another one to burn. He's got all the points. And the Aussie bench is ecstatic. As is the home crowd. Daniel Herbert busted. And Matthew Burke on the spot again. Great skills all around here from the Wallabies. George Gregan putting his runners through the gaps here. And Daniel Herbert, what a season he's having. Scott McLeod looked pedestrian there. And Matthew Burke, the juggling act. What a beautiful try. Found out defensively, the All Blacks there. Great break by, by Herbert. Got the pass to, to Burke on the track cam. Look at it going with it. Track cam, you guilty.
Matthew Burke from touch has hooked it. So it's just a converted try. The difference as we converge on half time. Oh, what an important five minutes we've got ahead of us here now. Critical time. These win. These are when the easy points sometimes sink teams. Well, this is when the All Blacks go up two notches in this critical period before half time. Well weighted kick taken by Eels. Gregan again. He's snapping up that loose ball tonight. And Burke with another fine clearing kick under pressure. Here's Brooke. Now Mertens again. McLeod steaming ahead. Just caught there by Stephen Larkham. Three on three. Wilson's out there. Roth comes again. Chance for New Zealand here. There's a few forwards out in midfield. Cronfeld. Big hit by Cobain. That was a monster. Can New Zealand get it back? They're still 15 from halfway. It's been slowed up by the Wallabies. They're looking for Cullen. Here's Mertens. He wants Wilson. Gregan in front. He's just caught. And there's the try to Jones. Ian Jones gets his ninth test try. And how many times have we seen it from this great All Black team in the closing minutes before half time? So the Wallabies relax for a moment and they've been punished. Less than a, a minute now from half time. Merton's here to level the scores if successful. Just across the face of goal, Wallabies cling to a two point lead. But New Zealand getting their second try. It's two tries apiece. Matthew Burke has scored all 15 points for the Wallabies. Leon Jones makes a habit of scoring that sort of try. I've seen him many times over the last few years in Super 12 and Test matches doing it. Well, this ground is hard and fast tonight. We've seen a real spectacle and a contest too. New Zealand cough it up. Burns went in for it. He's Gregan and Larkham. He's gone high for Cullum. Plenty of time here for Cullum. And he gets the mark. He thought about a quick counter. He does. Mertens now. McLeod. This is great play from New Zealand. Wilson. They're going to keep it alive. Cronfeld and Wilson. They've got to be careful. Eels. Back it goes. No one at home for Australia. Well, what a let off. Here's Larkham. And Burke. No risks. The hoot has gone for half time. And finally in the touch inside the quarter. A titanic struggle here at the MCG. The Bledisloe Cup match finally balanced. Two tries each. The Wallabies leading by 15 to 13. Here we go. Can Australia end New Zealand's winning run of seven? Andrew Blades wades into the forward pack. Good start to the second half here by the men in goal. Well, they went across field there. Gregan and Larkham. Herberts. He got away from Little. Tune wants it. He was calling for it. But Daniel Herbert not able to link up that time. It's Phil Kern setting things up. Wallaby's mauling it to the right. Coming back here for Reels and Blades now. Kearns is hurt there. Now they have to get it back. Gregan goes in. Larkham. Tune. That's a fine tackle. New Zealand come away. Clever work to Mertens again. Gregan back in cover. Cullen was there. Here's Horan. Cullen chases. Now the Wallabies have to secure this ball. New Zealand look as though they may have turned it. Vital turnover here. 
Little. Mertens. McLeod. Wrapped up by Rob. Knock on by Rob. Referee plays advantage. That's good, desperate defence from the Wallabies. Well, the Wallabies haven't taken all of their chances. Let's see if New Zealand does here. McLeod as a decoy. Little. Just caught by Larkin. Marshall now. Little flick pass there to Michael Jones. Just out from the quarter. It's Robin Brook. Back foot. Back foot. Centre field. Here's Mertens again. Anton Oliver. Well tackled Back by foot. Eels. Wallabies under pressure. Little. Bowman misses the tackle. Walter Little. Straight through. Australia looks to be in trouble here. There's an overlap. Mertens. Wilson. Grunfeld couldn't get the pass out. Wallabies desperately hold on. Bowman with a big hit. Joely Vindiri comes in. Australia try to slow it down. And there's the penalty. Killing the ball. Second only behind Grant Fox is New Zealand's test point scorer. And you wouldn't believe it. He's pushed it out to the right-hand side. I would believe it. I love it. Just get those three points out. One from four for Andrew Mertens. Well, early Matthew Burke's penalty bounced off the post, and then that one shaved it on the outside, though, just the wrong side. It's a wobbly kick, a nasty one over Marshall's head. Randall, very sure. Mertens to McLeod. Wallaby defence up quickly. They'd love to turn McLeod here. Out it comes. He was turned in the tackle, said the referee. So Australia with a penalty on halfway. And here is Matthew Burke. He's got the distance. Massive kick from Burke. 18 points to Australia, 18 points to Matthew Burke. Let it go, Black, let it go. Back now with Larkham. Big torpedo kick. Down towards the 22. Scott McLeod works it to Spencer, who's on the field. The tricky customer. Herbert got him. Little lock on by New Zealand, by Walter Little. And you'd have to say that Walter Little just has been short of that cutting edge tonight. Wallaby scrum, nice and low. Marshall kicking from inside his 22. Gaining about 17 or 18 metres, but it's still inside New Zealand's quarter. Another good throw. Cobain this time. Leo drives in low. Taking it down against New Zealand. 20 is the highest ever score by an Australian. Burke can take his personal tally to 21 here and increase the lead to eight. The crowd likes it. New Australian record against New Zealand by Matthew Burke, who's made the MC's G his own stage tonight in front of this vast crowd. Just over 26 minutes to go. What a game. The All Blacks will come back from this. So Spencer goes deep. Jeremy Paul. Oh, that was a very ordinary play from the Australians. Gregan was going to take it. Oh, black knock on Andre Watson there, nodding his head to Clayton Thomas. So although Australia knocked it on initially, the, the referee are judging the advantage occurred to New Zealand and they knocked it on five metres further up. So a territorial advantage accruing. Regan then. Stephen Larkham. He won't be happy with that one. That's put his side under pressure. Oliver going quickly. 
Michael Jones, loose. Australia have it. He was driving into the yellows. Penalty, yes, indeed. So obstruction there by the Wallabies. This is a penalty. The nerves will be there. He is a brilliant goal kicker. And the nerves had the final say. He made it look so easy in Super 12, but New Zealand's goal-kicking woes continue. New Zealand have kicked one from five, Australia four from six. That's the difference. Little. Oh, a knock on there. The referee said no. It was certainly coming off the hand of the Kiwi. Australia pilfer. Gregan. Willio. He got away from Dowd. Australia straight through the middle here. New Zealand in trouble. But I think they ran into their own man. Well, just these little mistakes by Australia in possession when they have New Zealand under the hammer. Anton Oliver. With a bit of a foot injury. Here goes Spencer. McLeod now in the gap. Horan got him from behind. Great play by New Zealand. Look at the support. Randall. That's Ian Jones. They still have it. Cullen just held up. Australia was offside. Referee plays advantage. Oliver and Wilson. Rock won't let him go. So back for the penalty. This one out in front. Spencer will get another chance. Surely Spencer will slot this one from out in front. The flags are raised. So there's five points in it. Just one try. Australia 21, New Zealand 16. The two Tongans, Jonah Lomu and Isatolo Maka. Australia compete well. New Zealand though, control it now. Marshall looking for it. Willio standing on the short side. Joel Evendiri. Rock got him. Ozzy's trying to turn him, but can't. He's little. Walter Little probing in close at the Australians. New Zealand back row there in numbers. Loose ball. Marshall. Not put on the ground. Here's Cullen. He lost it ahead. So initial dive in, I think, from the previous ruck by Australia. No touch for New Zealand. Here's Larkham. And here is Cullen. Wallaby chasers will need to be up there this time. Now Marshall again. Sensible kick. Putting it back inside Australia's quarter. Burke. And finally, Sanity as we're back on halfway. Matt Cobain at the back. Bowman goes low to dry. Again, composure needed from the Wallabies here. Blades controlling to Gregan and Larkham. Herbert's out wide. He's Roth. He went without it. The ex execution letting Australia down. Here's Randall. Charging up to Wilson. Now New Zealand. Working up towards halfway. Spencer looked to go to the left. Craig Dowd. Willio's in there. That's Marker. Marshall. Good defence from Eels. Coming back for New Zealand again. Chance on the open side here. Cullen just caught Little. Brilliant pass to Lomu. Here they go, Marker to Jonah. Oh, Marshall. Can he get it back to an Australian? He does. Horan. Still in play. And a relieving kick by, Hall, by Tim Horan. Here go New Zealand again. McLeod. Almost slicing through. Kronfeld's there to pick up the loose back, ball. Back, back. He's driven back in the tackle. Wilson goes in for it. Get up, 
Coming back for New Zealand. There's no one out on the left here for the All Blacks. And there is Walter Little. Joe Roth and Burke. Wilson in front. No fullback here. Cullen Herring back. Burke has put it deep again. Kearns is coming through. Burke! Do it all yourself. And he wants to throw it in and does. Here we go for Cobain. New Zealand surprised by the quick line out. Wallaby so close here. They come through to spoil. Brooks all over him. Herbert still going. The line just meters ahead. The referee's playing advantage for the penalty. Turns now and Horan. Horan's there. Marker holds on. The Wallaby so close. So we're going to have a penalty here in front of the posts. A long advantage play. Just to put it back out to eight in favour of the Wallabies. Matthew Burke, 24. New Zealand, 16. Great pictures from up above. It doesn't even, doesn't even give uh, credence to the battle that's going on the field. Well, the Wallabies just can't shake New Zealand, though. The All Blacks hit back every time. Here's Willie O. He's had that knee bandaged. He stands in the tackle back to Crowley. This is where New Zealand want to keep Australia now. Kearns! Cobain! Marshall, the tackler. Wallabies working it up the short side. Here's Bowman. He puts his head down. Regan goes in. Ten from halfway. Larkham now. Rifling down the touchline. Very sensible play there from the Australian fly half. New Zealand now. March it. Eight metres. You can hear the talk from Justin Marshall. Coming back. That's an automatic penalty offence when the ball's up off the ground in a mall and players are engaged around the ball you cannot pull it down so new zealand now looking for a big touch finder because they'll have the line out throw spencer takes it over halfway score here 24 16. that's robin brook at the front the all blacks got their try from a driving ball in the first half We've got to get this depth in behind this. Gills is reading it now. There's Randall and Marshall. Little. Jonah ran into a wallaby brick wall. Tune came in to follow him. And Andrew Mertens is coming onto the field, but Scott McLeod is coming off. Randall now to Marshall. Big hit by Gregan and Cobain. New Zealand drive in low. Now they have it. They're looking for the try. Walter Little straightening up. Here it comes, here it comes, Wallaby defence to be tested here on this open side. Almost intercepted. Randall! <laughs> Yellow hands all over it. Mertens. Spencer goes wide. Kronfeld offloaded to Spencer. Jonah Lomu. Pile driving defence. John Eels getting above Ian Jones. A vital line-out win to the Wallabies. They have to get it out of here. Burke's the man to do it. And New Zealand this time obstructing the line-out jumper. Well, he's got it for pulling John Eels down that time. He has been consistent, Clayton Thomas. Well, I think he's done a terrific job tonight, Clayton Thomas from Wales. It was the great unknown going into this test match, but it's been a super test match, and he's done a, a fantastic job, Clayton Thomas. 
That's a bad throw. Jones has picked it. Little now. Spencer. Just almost there. Little with Larkin, the tackler. Wallaby's trying to get this one back. They've slowed it up again through David Wilson. Slow ball for New Zealand. There's not much on here. Craig Dowd. He puts his head down. Bowman with a big tackle. Referee plays advantage. Hold, hold. Yellow four against you. Touch judge in. Ed Morrison. Against you. Get in the He's out of it now. So this really is a tough decision. They have to have a shot because that puts New Zealand within five points of Australia. So a converted try would win it. Carlos Spencer lines this one up. So Spencer now. And he's pulled it right across goal. So it's been a horror tale for the Kiwi goal kickers tonight. Time running out for New Zealand. Eight points the difference. They really had to get that goal. Here's Marshall with a nasty bounce. That was a perk dropout. Marker. Straight into Bowman, who stood his ground. New Zealand weighed in. It's been tough going for the All Blacks. Great hands there. Now Spencer. Kronfeld is driven back in the tackle. The Wallaby defence has been very well organised tonight. And there's another penalty. Is there enough time for New Zealand? New Zealand have it. Here's Mertens, a wild pass to Wilson. And again, put that down to the Wallaby pressure. <laughs> So Owen Finnegan making his mark here. The Wallabies leading by eight points. A little bit of rain seems to be falling here at the MCG. New Zealand still alive. Mertens to Spencer. Out wide to Lamu. Look at the tackle from Herbert. I think Ball and all. I think those drops might be tears from New Zealand supporters in these high stands. Back for Marshall again. Mertens. Wallaby defence has been outstanding and Larkin was over, but the whistle had gone. It may not matter. There was a knock-on, says referee Thomas. The crowd didn't like it. Great call there by Thomas. Here we go now, Wilson. New Zealand in all sorts of trouble again. Gregan! Tune! Back for Gregan. New Zealand come away through little. Deliberate knock-on, says the referee. Clive Norley would have given a penalty try for that one back in the old days. Well, that is surely the end of the road for New Zealand. The Wallabies have inflicted the first Tri-Nations defeat on the All Blacks in three seasons. We haven't had the final whistle, but time is just about up on the clock. You can hear the crowd counting down. There's the hooter. Matthew Burke misses. It doesn't matter. It's an eight-point victory to the Vodafone Wallabies. They have done it in style. They answered every New Zealand challenge in the second half. Matthew Burke with a scintillating man of the match performance. Two tries, one conversion, and four penalty goals for New Zealand. Kronfeld and Ian Jones tries. Mertens a penalty, Spencer a penalty. Final score, the Wallabies 24, New Zealand 16. Well, after four years in the wilderness, the Wallabies have come out and produced a fantastic victory here at the MCG. All round from 1 to 15 and the interchange from the bench 
has produced a superb performance in attack and defence. The guys will get in here, they'll sing the anthem, and then you'll see them do a victory lap here at the 75,000 strong crowd at the MCG. Well, Chris Handy, down on the touchline, over to you. Payne Randall, disappointment would be uh, something you're probably feeling at the moment. Oh, uh, well done to Australia. They deserved their win. You know, defence was, was marvellous. Uh, you know, we're gutted, but it's just part of it. We've got a, we've got a game in a couple of weeks, so we're looking forward to that. The build-up, did you feel that there was, the preparation was perfect or were there things still left to be done? Uh, the build-up wasn't perfect, but it was good enough. Um, tonight we just couldn't put, put it together and um, you know, Australia turned our ball over which we wanted to, to free up pretty quickly and um, they did well, got the point. Well John Eels, describe for us what the feeling is like to win a Bledisloe in Melbourne. It's great, I mean that's not the Bledisloe yet, it's the Bledisloe match, not the Bledisloe Cup. we still got a long way to go for that. Uh, it's a great feeling, I mean everything we worked towards was heading towards tonight. Big night in Melbourne, we had fantastic support from the crowd. And that helped us so much tonight. What, what was the difference? This, was it the scrum? Was it the line out? Was it the, the kickoffs? Well, I think we went very well in the scrum. Our line out certainly could have improved a bit. Uh, the kickoffs went okay. But I think all around the ground, we made a lot less mistakes than what we have against New Zealand over the last few years. And that's the telling difference. If you, if you don't make those mistakes, you can maintain pressure over long periods of time. And I think the defence of the guys was outstanding. John, on that note, we'll leave you to enjoy the moment. Thanks, Buddha.